It's been almost a week since Orlando police peacefully ended a standoff at the airport. Now we're getting an inside look at the training officers go through to handle situations like this. Only News 6's Eric Von Anken got to see how Volusia County deputies are learning how to de-escalate and get crime results. Knock, knock, knock. Deputy Ryan, Volusia County Sheriff's Office. This is a deputy in training. I just remember drinking a little bit last night and I just woke up like this. I don't know. And okay. this is okay. a police officer acting as someone in mental distress. My name is Liam. What's your name? My name's Rachel. All right, Rachel, I'm here to help you. The trainee is learning what to do. Well, can, can we get you, get, get you up? And what yeah, not to do outside. when someone is having a tough time so the stressful situation ends peacefully, like it did last week at the Orlando International Airport when police held their fire and calmly talked a man with a fake gun into surrendering, even after he pointed the gun at police. I was very, very impressed at how they did that. Volusia County Sheriff says the formula is simple, time, distance, and cover, but following it under pressure is difficult. <laughs> That's why they train like this. There are mentally ill people out there that are armed, and we've seen it here in Volusia County three times this year with mentally ill folks that were armed that we wind up shooting them, that if you take a second, use time, use distance, use cover, you might not have to shoot them because they're not on their medication, they're not dealing in reality. Some of them are suicide by cop. You can let down your guard, you can be human, but you have to stay professional. Instructors stop the scenario to give the trainee tips on how to de-escalate carefully but effectively. So when the time comes on the streets, he or she can get crime results. We had it happen in, in Daytona. Uh, a man armed with a knife trying to stab neighbors, uh, officers show up. They do a phenomenal job. They, they have information that he was Baker acted two other times. Uh, two other times when the officers approached him, he wanted to be killed. So they know who they're dealing with. And the guy comes at them with a knife and they had already had a game plan. They tase him. He goes to the ground. Eric Von Aiken, New Six, getting crime results. Now the de-escalation training also teaches officers to focus on not just their verbal skills, but also nonverbal things like their body language to make a person in distress feel as comfortable as possible and trust the officer as much as possible.